What's up, everybody? Matt here, Music Scene Ohio, and you are watching a weekly rip. Chris Adams, check it out. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get into this. Mm -hmm. Hey, everyone, this is Chris, that truck and the guitar player, sitting here with Olympus Mons in Bitchcraft Studios. Uh, we're here to uh, figure out who these people are. <laughs> Again, this is the majority of Olympus Mons, correct? Yep. Okay. Four. To my left, we have Adrian. I know I've got issues and I will never learn. I'm Marks. Aubrey. Caught in the game of no one to blame. A mob do you blame? You're the devil. Aubrey. Okay, where are y'all from? A place called Olympus Mons. It's okay. a shield volcano on uh, Mars. It's the highest point in our solar system. Right. What brings you to Earth? Music scene is a lot better here, especially in Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> Awesome. So anyway, okay. Well, what do you do? You. Well, I'm a singer, and I also play keys. Okay. And produce, and write, and record. Okay. Uh, I'm the drummer. Okay. I play guitar. Cool. Now, as I said, there most of the band is here. Who are we missing so we can give them some recognition? Um, well, uh, we have a uh, well, we have a couple revolving members. Um, okay. uh, Jay Lamo, he's a bass player. Okay, I know Jay. He's a good dude, and uh, Steve. and Steve, Steve Inch. Okay. Steven Inch. Okay. Awesome. So anyway, okay. So you're from Mars. How long was that trip? It was, uh, uh, it was about two years, isn't it? Yeah, it's a two-year trip. Okay. Lost track because of cryogenics. You know, yeah. they put you in cryogenics. And <laughs> right. It just seemed like a day. Yeah, went to sleep and woke up. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> woke, woke up woke up orbiting Earth. That's cool. Yeah. So, okay, obviously, from what we're told here on Earth about Mars, the scene is pretty dead up there. Yeah, we, we met at a rave. It was like on Olympus Mons. That's actually why we call it Olympus Mons. That's where right. we met. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's pretty hot. Yeah, probably hotter than this, but hey. <laughs> Given that it's a volcano. Uh, it's inactive. It's about 60 degrees there, year-round, something like that. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. So, all right, cool. San um, Francisco weather. What's that? San Francisco weather, basically. Most mm -hmm. of the time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm told that you guys have been working on a, uh, a record and you're about to release it, so let's talk about that a little bit. November 3rd. November 3rd, and you're going to be doing a release party. Yes. Where at? At uh, Annabelle's in Akron. Okay, cool. Uh, in the basement down there. Yes. Been a while since I've been down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, a Pontius Pilot will be <coughs> performing with us. All right, cool. Awesome. And with uh, more bands to be determined. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, possibly, uh, we've asked him we're waiting on reply. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, you gotta. And we also, we, we got a, uh, another show coming in January 11th at uh, the Vortex in Akron. Oh, at the Vortex? Yes. Okay, cool. I've been meaning to check that place out, too. It's nice. So, yeah. Real nice. So, um, possibly revisit then. Uh, 
I have a habit of revisiting bands I've talked to just to see where they're at and how they're doing, you know, that kind of thing. So, you know, it very, works. Very cool. I believe Pilot will be headlining that one. Hey, Punches Pilot will be headlining that. Oh, at, uh, at the Vortex? Vortex, yeah. Okay, cool. I have to keep an eye on that. Um, you can follow them on, on Facebook, too, folks. Uh, <laughs> and you have a, a Facebook page? We do. And what's the name of the page? Olympus Mons. All right, cool. Mon- at Mons Metal. At Mons Metal? All right, cool. At Mons Metal. M O N Z. All right, cool. Cool. Um, The recording process, how, how has that gone for you? Has it been smooth? Has it been challenging? It's, I think it's been pretty smooth. Yeah, it's been it's been really smooth actually. Inspiration's been pretty easy. Cool. Easy flow. We've been writing together for a few years, so. Right. So, clicked pretty good, I think. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. As long as you know the chemistry of the of the whole unit is something that works, then it should be easy and fun. Right. Because it's a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, if it, if you got to work at it and it's not fun, why do it? Well, Truth. it's work sometimes. Well, right? yeah, you know what I mean, Just though. That, I, the I mean, talk, you know, talking about the the inner personality right. working. Right. You know, uh, if you got to work at getting along with somebody. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. You right. know, you why do it? You know, that, that's the whole Very whole true. big thing about it. You know, I mean, that's why a lot of bands break up. Yeah. You know. Um, Poison, for example, you know everybody's got their own tour bus because they can't get along. You know, Motley Crue is the same way. <laughs> you know? All them egos on one yes. bus. <laughs> Motley yeah. Crue is so good, though. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, and how they made it work for as long as they did is amazing without killing each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, I think that I think they have an idea of when they're going to end, but then they like they stop doing it and they miss it so much, and then they have an, yet another farewell tour. Right. Yeah. And then they get pissed off, and then they have another farewell tour. Right. And then they get pissed off, but then they have another fa- farewell tour, and it just when keeps happening. What's going to happen with Ozzy? <laughs> Again. It's happened with Kiss a million times. Yeah, right? <laughs> um, but anyway, okay, so... Is the album ready to be released, or where are you at in that process? Just need a few finishing touches on most of it. Yeah, we have to add a few vocals on a few songs but so it's 95 percent yeah yeah cool that's an awesome awesome deal to you know to be sitting there looking at these tracks on your computer or whatever realizing just this little bit more and it's done and you're looking at all these tracks on your screen or you know if the old-fashioned way you're looking at all these tapes <laughs> <laughs> right yeah well, we actually we're, we're doing it all ourselves here like, yeah, yeah. We're doing everything. we even sh- mixing, we even started everything. shooting the video we've we got a music video it's actually we're done shooting it we just got to put it together awesome yep that's bitchcraft records that's why it's like a little label but we don't we don't it's private mm-hmm. yeah we just do it for ourselves pretty right much, yeah so. i mean for now, anyway. <laughs> well, it's you know, it's what you got to do. You know, I mean, we live in a time now where anything's possible, really. When you when you think about it, definitely. Yep. You know, as far as what we do for fun. You know, mm-hmm. before you had to go pay somebody mm-hmm. else to do all this stuff. Mm-hmm. How many hundreds and thousands of dollars? You know, now you, you know, myself. You know, for example, I've got an interface that I paid a hundred bucks for, and it came with a DAW. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, when I uh, when I started, you know, back one uh, with uh, the other band that uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we we just released like a little EP, and that cost us, you know, sixty five hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, it was, I mean, it was it was worth it. Oh yeah. But. But yeah. when you think about it, okay. $6,500. Yeah, I mean, you can furnish, you can you furnish a studio that. anymore. Yeah, you can furnish a studio with that. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. You know, um, 
just a decent laptop and an interface is all you need now. You know, for the most part. I mean, yeah, you need mics and, you know, other stuff, but, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Right. You know, but you also have to have the knowledge of what you're doing, too, which isn't hard to get. I mean, most most of the stuff that I know myself, I learned doing live sound. Trial by fire. Yeah, you know, I, I, I learned how to do live sound back in the 90s. And there's a lot of crossover. There's, there's some there's differences. Like, yeah, it, it evolves, you know. Yeah. Like the, you know, the way you have to do stuff. Evolves. Yeah, everything was analog back then. <laughs> you know, nobody had a computer. You know, but that's just because I'm old. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, how long have you guys been playing music individually and as a group? Wow. Um, ever since I was young, probably like 10, okay. maybe even younger. My, what dad, about you? my dad's a singer too, so. Okay, so it's in world. the family. Yeah. That's so awesome. I've been around it my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, I, I've, been, I've been playing since a young age too, um, probably about 25 years or more. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I was probably about 10. Okay. Yeah, I asked for a guitar and I eventually got one. And that didn't work in my house. <laughs> it was a hand-me-down though. So. Yeah, even then it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I bought my first guitar when I was 17. So, yeah, <laughs> out of my paycheck. <laughs> I had to buy my first guitar too. Yeah, but, but I didn't, still, I didn't buy my first kit. Mom, mom and dad got that for me. Okay. Yeah. I that, got that's you. that's I got a blessing. Lucky. My dad always had keyboards at the house, so I always got to jam on something. You know? Yeah. There's a piano in my house. Playing with that. Growing up, I, you know, myself, I started learning how to play trumpet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but. Uh, and then tried to learn the keyboards, and then tried to learn drums, and finally settled on guitar. But still, I used to know. play the violin. Yeah, when you oh, do, yeah. when you do a lot of instruments like that, it keeps you diverse too. It yeah, gives, you know, it gives, gives you a better ear. understanding. Of, yeah. you know, every instrument. Yep, it gives you an ear, and it helps you develop. I, in my opinion, helps you develop a sense of arrangement. You know, okay, yeah, that, that'll sound good there. Or, now this needs to be there. You know, that kind of thing. But, and it also helps you read actual sheet music. <laughs> yeah, it expands your horizon. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. Um, you know, I know I know guys that, you know, all they do is, you know, all they've ever done is hard rock, metal, or whatever. They've never done anything else, mm -hmm. and so they don't have that Open. something to fall right. back on. To expand, you know that yeah. diversity, if you will. So, I've dabbled in every single genre from hip hop, opera, classical, rock. Right. You know. Right. Had a lot of diversity. Right. As far as style goes. Yeah, and that's good, yeah. because that means you bring that extra something. Right. You know, to. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, like I said, that that gives you that wider um, range. With, thank you. Yeah, that, that's a good word. I think it helps you look at this song structure as as a whole, as opposed to like, what am I doing? Yeah, or, you know. Yeah, it it, it helps yeah, you it fit. Helps picture. Yeah. It helps it, influential. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Right, exactly. Instead of now, now you play guitar, mm -hmm. you have an understanding of okay, this should be a rhythm, or this should be the lead, mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, or maybe just a partial of a rhythm over the arrangement. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Structure. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah, it's very useful. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> it comes in handy, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I know in my own writing, like I said, you know, I've, I've got the diver somewhat of a diversity as well. I also was also in choir. Yeah. You know, so I've got that too. But see, we all you were too. Yeah, but you know, in my own writing, I'm always looking at okay, well, yeah, I could do that, but it's kind of boring. Yeah. 
why don't I try this? You know, and borrow from one style. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, and you know, and when you talking about structures and theories and what have you, when you have that diversity of, of knowledge, you can pick and choose and make it work together mm -hmm. to make something really interesting and really creative. Yep. Yep. So good for y'all. I'm, I'm glad to hear that there's something beyond the three bar, you know, yeah, three well, chords. We bring an element of like metal and, well, my vocals are like more like pop, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, and an it, edge. You know, we, we, we like that. And I rap. I even though, even have yeah, she raps. Some. She raps a bit, a couple yeah, songs. That's cool, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Pretty good streamer, too. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, so kinda... Pretty diverse. I mean, like we like to think we have a bit of a mainstream sound, but it's not like Earth's mainstream is different than Mars. Yeah, <laughs> that just, that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> oh, but um, so how long have you guys been together as a unit? Olympus Mons has been a band for about a year. Okay. Cool. We just now went through a few members, member changes, and yep. Yeah. So what you see is what you get <laughs> right now. Well, that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, I mean, I certainly hope to see you guys play. You know, it, either the uh, CD release party or the Vortex show, whichever. Um, just depends on my work schedule. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Um, so I certainly do look forward to seeing that. And I'm also looking forward to hearing what you got uh, coming out. So. Awesome. Yep. Uh, the video is uh, Devil Inside. Okay. Um, it will be our uh, first single release. Okay, cool. And when do you plan on releasing the video? Um. When, when try, when, yeah, when, yeah, when, yeah as soon as, as soon as it's put together, within okay, a week, cool. within a week. Well, yeah, time. you'll have to uh, let me know uh, so I, I can link it up in the description of the video. I shall. So that you know, folks can get to it. Awesome. Yep, we should have we should have it out um, before, uh, or you know, when you post when you post yeah, this. Yeah, this will be coming out on the fifth of October. Cool. First Friday interview. So. Cool. Yeah. We, it should it should be to you before then. All right, cool, man. That'll work. Uh, you know, link will be in the description, and you know, you all get to see it. <laughs> Double inside. Yep. Cool. Double inside. Awesome. Well, I look forward to it all, man. I really do. It was a pleasure to meet you all. Me too. It's hot here. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> pleasure to meet you all. Yeah, Enjoy. you too. We'll see you all next time. Bye. Thanks. Bye. If you like what you just saw, please click the like, subscribe button, share it with friends. That would help me out greatly. Another way to help me is to click on the link in the description for my Patreon. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. That's gonna be interesting to see. <laughs> 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 That's <works>. funny. <laughs> hey, at least it has a mouth. <laughs> right. <laughs> As it gets stuck in there. <laughs> That's gonna be on the B roll. <laughs>